Hello, welcome back to the puzzles of Titan. Now this puzzle is pretty easy. As you can see, we're in the center area back end. It sounds weird. So the elevator is there. It's easy to get over here because it's the floor elevator. And then you arrive over here. Now you only need two things to do the puzzle. You need a steam and you need a quick death skill. Which shouldn't be too hard to get if you at least played a little bit of the game and got into the strength stuff. Now use all of the charges, activate the countdown, and then you just have to use dash as your first action to get you over here. Then you have to, yeah, you kind of have to follow along. Oh wow! Apparently they modified the quest so you don't even need to use the dash, but. You can use the dash two times, in case you're having problems with the path, we just use it at the beginning and then at the end. When the developers change something over here, maybe you can do it without the dash, but probably not. I tried it a couple of times, didn't seem to work. And over here we have the core reactor, which sounds like it's amazing, but to be honest, it's probably going to be it's going to be amazing if you're going to play a melee character. Let's look at the stats for the character. I think that's where they show us the fortitude stuff. Oh. Yeah, where is the fortitude? Confusion, anti-gravity, blindness, or something. Well, I didn't see the, <laughs> any anti-gravity status effects. I don't remember the blindness. I remember some stuns, but blindness, not really. Well, it still looks like a nice thing. So that's that means we have only one puzzle left, which is amazing because that's the only problem. Well, I'm not sure how to solve it. I'll try to solve it a little bit, but probably you will not really. Find, figure out how to extend the bridges in the B10 section. Because I don't see any terminals over there. I don't know. I'll have to look again. Okay, but before we do anything, it's time for sadness. It's time to be sad. Game, calm down. I'm not doing anything. So yeah, this kind of concludes more or less 99% of the secrets. I'm a bit sorry that I didn't mark all of the videos with the proper secrets, but some of the videos had a lot of secrets, some of the other videos didn't have any secrets, so yeah, I guess it's meh. Not much I could do about some of the stuff. Okay, let's speak with Ursula. We have the flower from B10, the security system, the high techs, or no, the high security chamber or whatever. Because the tree of Titan is real. Oh, actually, okay, this is the room. Absolutely quiet, barely any light or sound. Where is your way? Hi, Ursula, how are you feeling? I should be joining the deceased. No, she will be okay. You came here to die? Not only am I old, but my sickness has a field day taking over my body. Have nice cosmetics. That's your company, yes. Okay. They ousted her out of the company when they learned she was sick. Why not? Should don't feel sorry for rich people. <laughs> Yeah, she, tra she traveled the stars. 
I bought my own on my shuttle to Titan. A few fake certifications and tech was just letting and was letting just about anyone board. I was supposed to be a miner, but I didn't last long. I'm too weak, it's just a liability. That was a, always a sweetheart to me. What? That guy? Really? That guy was. He's the most annoying character in the camp. He said that I reminded him of his mother, who is also sick. So no, not my level. He's the only one who's been visiting me, making sure I take my meds and brings me food. What? He's done some bad stuff, but he's not evil. Is that nah? He's evil. What do you need? A flower that could be growing underground. I could do it a native titan flower in one hand and yeah, whatever. This is a stupid thing. Stop drinking. Don't drink. <laughs> The weird thing is that you get one flower from the tree and then you get 20 flowers from the little trees next to it. I already have the tree, I already have the flower. And she needs whiskey. Well, she's kicking me out because I have the flower and not the silly bottle of thing. Okay, let's find the uh, her second wish. I hope it's a second wish. Well, she did say the flower first. Where is that guy? That guy is in charge of. Okay, let's have a save file because apparently you need both items, and I was a bit afraid because I didn't understand what happened. Yeah, I don't know. I guess the flower should be enough in a way. But that's the quest design. Need a drink? Do you have any whiskey? I need a bottle for Ursula. The, the names are inverted. We say I need to buy a bottle for Ursula. This, Ursula is the terrible minor lady, right? Because the trip's only glass story, she deserves a drink. I'm back. Yeah, yeah, I have everything. I would have been proud if you were my kid. That's very sweet. I think you'd have made a good mother. Yeah. A great rich mother. Are you? I detect no life signs. I guess she didn't get a chance to drink it. Probably she just wanted to hold it. Okay, I'm happy. Then it was worth it. <laughs> she didn't get to drink it. I don't think it was about drinking whiskey. She just wanted to have it with her as she passed away for a sense of comfort. Everyone has that thing. Yeah, that probably would have made her feel very very bad and very much more worse than she was already well everyone dies alone if you think about it i think they said this in a movie Tony darko yes every living thing dies alone no matter the circumstances So I guess we're just passing the flower to everyone, which could be, well I guess we already established that it's not dangerous. Another attack. Yes, I don't think I need the autosave anymore, I have to disable it, yeah. I thought autosave would be much better, but it just annoying me the entire game. 
think Ida is the one in engineering. Well, I didn't want to sleep, but that's good. Okay, let's save the game just because we might have a few surprises or not. I wonder what happened here. Change that on flower. Hmm. A million different medical breakthroughs, okay. That's bugged. Wait for Ida's message, okay, I guess you can do the guided meditation then. Uh, you find the the incense in the in B010 or B10 in the church, Sunday church. <laughs> the meditation can you just buy from Dave's Emporium over there, the screen. I have a feeling she'll call us back right at the same time we're in Y Rat's room. Or maybe not. I think this is the room. Okay, save the game. Before you start this, I really, really, really recommend you save the game because it's going to be a very long and tricky session. Now I'll do my best to try and present all of the options and pick the best ones, but probably some people will want other options. Okay, save because I definitely messed up in the quest, especially because you have you are used to pressing or to clicking instead of pressing space. So only press space as clicking will get you in trouble. First question. Idol give you 5 mutation point, Alp will give you 100 melee plus 2, Lau will give you survival plus 2, it's will give you nano plus 2. If you are at the one handed melee skill, if you want to play with the one handed melee, definitely go for that. Mutation is good but not that good. The rarest and most valuable thing here is Isco with nano plus 2. Nano is always very is always very useful but also very hard to level up as you can see. I've been trying for almost half of the game to level it up and I'm still only I think I'm level 9. Okay, second question. Grace will give you credits, Martin survival, Katrina perception, Dalton strength. Credits, you don't need credits. Survival, you should be maxed out on survival as well. Strength is only for melee characters. Perception is very good because it gives you crit chance. Uh, 5 points in perception is like 0 0.5 crit chance, which is not a lot, but uh, yeah. it's something at least. Stop clicking. I need to stop clicking. Over here, Freya will give you 5 perception, Octario 5 agility, Rana perk points 2, 2 perk points, and Pierre credits. So definitely go with Rana because perk points are amazing and you have, remember, you have a max level. 35 is the max level, so always choose perk points if you can. This is a, the second quest in the game that gives you perk points. Now Miriam will give you Endurance, Joseph Agility, Seiya Mutation, Sable 1 and the range plus 2, so that means for pistols. Well, I don't like any of the options, I'll probably I would say either Endurance or Mutation, I'll just go with Mutation because I like the Nano Power theme, so that means I'll go with Seiya Yam. Do you feel negative first or so that will give you 200 plus 2 so 200 weapons plus 2 skill Vin will give you physical plus 2 and then monsters will give you 100 range plus 2 I guess if you have 200 well I guess your 200 skill will definitely be almost maxed out after this one but in my case since I don't have since I don't use pistols or melee weapons I'll have to go with physical plus 2 with Vin
But that will give you 200 melee plus 2, EGC, Endurance plus 5. L will give you 5000 credits, which again is useless. Ursula will give you physical plus 2. I guess I'll go with physical plus 2 again, so it's Ursula. Now, let's see, we'll give you 200 plus 2. Uh, Claudia will give you 100 plus 2. Christian will give you 200 melee plus 2. Oh no, Litsy will give you 200 range plus 2. So, I don't know, this is the way it's written in the guide. So, Litsy is actually rifle skill plus 2. Claudia is sword plus 2. Christian is 200 melee plus 2. David is bow plus 2. Since we will be using rifles, we have to go with Litsy. And the range, which is again rifle. That's the way it's also written in the game. <laughs> Alexei is strength plus 5, Cyrus is nano plus 2, Judith is bow, bow plus 2, Wolf is perk points plus 2. So at this point, you should probably go for nano, maybe, because I don't think you'll be using all of the perk points. But, but for my case, where I'll actually play the game a lot more, I'll be going for the perk points because I intend to play a lot more, not just finish the game right now. So, yeah, it will be Wolf. Yeah, my mind is clear. Enhance reflexes, high endurance, quick dash, hyper awareness. What is even that? Okay. That's a lot of stuff we got. So, as you can see, my level is maxed out already. So, I have 14 perk points to distribute through all of my skills. And that's going to be it. Now let's see what we got. Hyper awareness. It's a passive perk for increasing the perception stat. Well, it's not that important because your perception can go high a lot, but it's going to reach 100. And if you get that, you're going to get only 10 more points, which will be one more critical chance. So I don't think it's worth putting the points into hyper awareness, or at least not yet. And for the other stuff that increases a stat. Not really worth it, but quick dash. Dash at level 2 is going to be very interesting because it will give you a movement distance of 3 tiles. So will definitely take that. Probably it's going to be useful for some other stuff as well. Well, I guess we can get the next level of the nano missiles. So look at this. For attacks, so not only does it increase in damage, but also in attack. And so now the nano missiles will do 400 damage, and 400 damage, well, more or less 400 damage, depending on the enemy armor, is kind of like or two times the damage of my rifle. So yeah, it will be worth it if we add level 13. Now we can get nano recovery. Yeah, health regeneration will be much better. Five instead of two. Oh, yeah. And we can still use it for other stuff. Nano fusion is very important to get more nano stuff. Actually, let me look at it. You don't really get infected by nano stuff anymore, so I guess it's not really that useful. And that's about it for the guided meditation. Now, let me try again and see if I can solve the stuff in the basement again. Oh no, I have to wait for Ida's message. Okay. We're not going to go to the basement just yet. Also, let me look at the, at the achievement. I think not a lot. Of, yeah, okay. So, 7.6% of the people have this achievement, they did the guided meditation and 10% have the have defeated the final boss, so I guess some people forgot to do the quest. But it's okay. Get a set from the Titan floor, this can be applied to weapons to increase damage to mutants on the ground as it breaks the contamination that created them. 10,000 was that 10,000 credits? I think so. The lonely stowaway. Oh, 
So how does that work? I guess we got the sap. And you can get more sap from the Titan Flower and then you can create this uh I should increase health regeneration and instant lowest negative effects. Oh no, this is just an item you want to use once. Well, I guess we have to put all of the flowers in there. And now you can go and get a lot more flowers. But that doesn't, doesn't seem like it's worth it. Probably not needed. Also, as you can see, we have 21 flowers. Still 21 flowers. You have to create three. This is a little bit weird. You need nine flowers, so nine flowers to craft one of these things. I'm not sure how this will be working. I guess you have to. Okay, let's wait a little bit. Okay, so that's all of the things I needed to do. The navigation module you get from the hangar in B09. The high energy converter you get from the geothermal power plant after you destroy the boss. And these ones you can just craft. The hydrogen you can craft after you find the modified fuel canisters in the train. So, yes, we modified their ship. And this will probably remain the only secret that there is to me in the game at least. Oh, maybe there's another dash you can have, maybe there's a jump or something that you can have with the melee skills, I'm not sure. Because this is only for movement and I already tried to use it to cross the water at uh, another little secret but it didn't work so I'll just assume... I'll just assume that's kind of it for me. If I find out I'll... Let you know in the next video, but otherwise I think that's the entire stuff. Okay, I think we can get out of here, we can get... Also, there was this thing over there that did... Probably should have been tied to that thing down there, but it doesn't make sense. You cannot interact with that, no computers, no nothing, no screens. I'll just leave it as it is for now. If I find anything, I'll let you know in the next video. Because this is the way the gates or other interactables work. You click on the screen and it does something. You can also close down the door over here if you want. Okay. Very fun. And I guess by the time we get out, they will finish. I hope they don't give me any dialogue. Well, they'll probably give me some dialogue. I guess we just have to see what they say. Oh. Idling. Don't idle. Do the thing you're supposed to do. And that's kind of... That's kind of it for the game. I think we have a lot of other things to do as well because we need to go to the headquarters and that's not going to give us an end game screen. We have to prepare to go to the next area. For the next video, 100%, the next video will have the final part of the game and also just me testing out a bunch of weapons. Uh, a bunch of guns. I mean, we still have to test all of the guns we got, like the minigun, the flamethrower, the sonic launcher. The, what else do we have? I think that's about it. I don't really want to test the pistol and the other stuff because you need to level them up super super grindy way. You have to do a lot of grinding to get them up. Because look at look at my stats. The only thing I, was man I managed to get up to 20 is the survival skill and that's because I was mining and collecting plants all the time. Whereas the rifle skill is only 14 even though I used a rifle almost since the beginning of the game. I guess I can also show you my defense for the generator or the reactor actually. There's probably a lot of people will be wondering, is it hard or is it easy? Well, I guess it depends on 
how you view things and how you play the game until this point. Personally, I think the base defense is kind of easy because you can out level the enemies pretty fast with every new upgrade to the turrets. Yeah, I have the latest turrets and as you can see, I'm kind of maxed out on the barricades as well. Oh, that was a strong attack from that direction. Uh, sure. I guess we can activate the the wave now. The only thing that is concerning will be the a lot of spears and a lot of crashes, but other than that, not much that can even try to dent our defenses. Finish dash modifications. Oh, they're just bringing explorers and exploders engravers, which, from what I can see, they're killed in two turns. That will really hurt the barricades. Not so bad. Yeah, I guess the only way you can lose the game is, is if you're not careful. I don't know why that says 95% because as you can see, the reactor core has never been touched by <laughs> filthy mutant hands. I guess you can go and speak to Cyrus. I hope there's a... Um, the point of no return is very, very, very well shown. You know, some guys don't really tell you what the point of no return is or they just give you a quick message and if you skip it, that's it. That happened to me in the... I forgot the name of the game, but it was from the developers of Mutant Year Zero. Uh, and the point of no return was actually just shown to you by a simple message and I clicked too fast on it I did, and I didn't realize it was that one. But I guess it goes to show you that some games you just forget their names because they're not really memorable. Okay, so let's have two save files over here just in case. Because I don't have the the auto save anymore, so that's why I'm doing it like this. So I guess I should also auto save. Yeah, I should auto save. Yeah, saving all the time. I have to use the stupid nano skill again. Wait, does the ship look different? Oh yeah, it looks different. It's patched up, so I don't remember how the ship used to look like. But now it's patched up. And it seems to have a lot more uh, space for cargo, even though it's makeshift work. Okay. Enjoying the waking world. The Flying Beast Mark II. Doesn't look that great. Once you leave camp, you can never return. Okay, so you do have a point of no return. It will say it's a one-way trip. Uh, but from what I understand, you still have to fight once you get there. I'm not sure with what or how much you have to fight and once you get there, but still. Very cool graphics. Yeah, I really hope they expand upon the game even more. They balance it, they make it. They do justice for the game. These things look like eyeballs, even though probably they're supposed to be searchlights or something like that. Because I see a lot of room for improvement all over the place and for missions and for other campaigns and for, uh, I don't know. They can do whatever they like with the game if they have the time for it. Now... Yeah, I don't know. I guess we'll have that uh, one less secret. Anyway, see you next time.